welcome back in today's video I'm going over how to get started make patterns in Affinity Designer for the iPad. Now the app has only been out for a few days and I must say so far my impression is this is by far the best vector app for the iPad and it's also extremely similar to the desktop version so it's easy to go between the two apps. So once you open up the app this is what you'll see and just as a side note if you're anything like me it may drive you a little crazy to see the tutorials and samples at the bottom so if you click the little gear up at the top you will see an option to show tutorials and samples if you just turn that off click done it disappears. So to start a new pattern, you can click the circle with the plus sign and new document. I'm going to switch mine to pixels and then to CMYK and then change the size. I will do 2000 by 2000 just because it's really easy to remember and then change the DPI to 300 and click OK. And another thing I change in my settings, I like to rotate canvas sometimes, especially if it's something I'm drawing. Um, once again, it's in that settings in the beginning. If you come over to the left side, click the rectangle tool and I'm just going to make a rectangle and change this color to a light blue. So that is the background. When you're making a pattern, if you want to lock that background just so you don't accidentally select it, if you go over to the right side, what looks like a square with several things below it, it's your layers panel. And you can come over here so you can see it in your layers panel. If you click the hamburger menu or that square with the three lines in it, you will see the option to lock that background. This way it cannot be selected. So once again going back over to that left side exactly where you selected the rectangle tool, if you hold down you will see the other shapes available. I am going to use the ellipse and I just want to make a very simple polka dotted pattern to get started. So if you draw out, you can see that you can make more of an oval. If you hold your finger down on the screen, it will keep the aspect the same. So it is a perfect circle. Once again, switching this color. So using the selection tool or the move tool, drag this circle over to the corner and it should show you when you have aligned the center of the circle into that top corner. If that's not working, if you go up to the top left, it looks like the paper with the dots in it. Make sure to select snapping, enable snapping, click done. And as you can see, the center is now lined up in that top corner. To easily duplicate an Affinity Designer with this circle selected, I'm just going to hold two fingers down on my screen with your other hand or with your Apple Pencil. Hold down on your ellipse and drag down. Once again, make sure it's lining up in the center and let go. And this one moved a little bit, but you can fix it. I'm actually going to select both of these ellipses and you can do that by going into your layers panel. You can see the one is selected. If you want to select the other one, just swipe from left to right. And now both of them are selected. Holding down two fingers on the screen and dragging those across. And now you have your repeat going for that one shape. I'm just going to select one of these, duplicate it, and then line it up in the center of the document. And there is your very simple, easy start to making patterns in Affinity Designer. 
If you want to export this, click that document again, export. I am going to save mine as a PNG. Click OK and it will save it. And because you can save it on your iPad, it makes it extremely easy to upload to places like Spoonflower. For example, if I click on Safari, I'm already signed into my account. I'm just going to go into design and then upload. Click browse and your pattern will appear and then upload. And as you can see, you have a repeating pattern. Perfect for spoon flower. And you can obviously go through and put in all of the details for your pattern. So that is probably my favorite thing about having Affinity Designer on the iPad. It's really easy to create your pattern and then upload it to any website that you want to sell your pattern on. If there's anything at all you would like to learn on Affinity Designer for the iPad, please let me know and I will be happy to create a video. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys.